Hi, this is the time and contrast menu. This is where you actually set your clock. So again, very important, we hit our select key that allows us to get into the menu. It's set for 11.46 a.m. If we want to change this time, we would hit the select button, go over here to 12.46 p.m., hit the enter button to save. That's a new time of day. Hit the down arrow key to go to the next item, and basically this is the contrast level of the screen. We understand that different people have different eyes or different location of the pump, so you might need to change the contrast level of the screen. One uh, thing to consider is when you're changing the contrast level of the screen, only change it in increments of one, hit enter, and then see what the screen changes to. If you change it in multiple items, it doesn't actually change the view of the screen until you hit the enter button. This is the probably something that here indoors we can't appreciate, but if you're outdoor in the direct sun, that turning the contrast down may make it easier to read. Yeah, it, may, it makes it easier to read, and it also, if you change it too dramatically before hitting the enter button, you can get it to where you almost can't see the screen, and it's and then you're to change it back. To get it back. <laughs> okay. So that's all there is to that particular menu. I am going to hit the select button, go back up to 2, hit enter, and that's our new contrast for the screen. Beautiful. This item is called external control. What external control is for is this pump can operate a few different ways. It can be a standalone pump, operate off its own timer, and run its own flows based on what we've established here. Or you can connect it to our automation, Pentair brand automation, and Teletouch, EasyTouch, or SunTouch. In that case, the pump would actually digitally communicate, and this programming of this screen is not necessary. The other way it could work is there's other brands of automation, of course, out there, brands that are not made by Pentair that are already existing in your home. If you want to put this pump in your home with that other brand automation, you can buy what we call a telecom box, kind of a converter box that makes this pump compatible with other types of automation, other types of manual switches, other types of external switching and relays exactly. to operate. So what we've done is we have a special menu in here that tells this pump that you've connected it to that other brand automation. And what you do is you would get into external controls. The Intellicom box would be wired up to your automation. And then you would hit select. And you have four programs. You have four possible speeds of this pump to run. So you have program one, two, three, and four. And all of those are customizable to your specific pool. We would hit select and we would say enabled, so the box has been wired to their relay one off of your home automation. You'd hit select to disable it or enable it. Hit enter because we don't need to change that. We'll go back down here to the set flow. So you would actually establish the flow that you wanted when you activated program one through your alternative brand automation. If I hit my down arrow key, there would be a delay. That would be if you had an old uh, heater, say, that needed to have a delay between the time it shut off. Right, where you want, when you turn off the pump and the heater turns off, you want the pump to continue running to cool off the water inside of the heater. Mm-hmm. Okay. Program, that's, so that's program one. Then you would establish program two. So say in your particular automation you had two relay spaces open, you would have... <coughs> Which would give you the ability to put in two speeds or... So the, with the Intellicom communicator control you can put up to four speeds in. Exactly. This. So you'd have program one as a low flow and say you had program two established for the jet speed for your spa. Right. And you would do the exact same thing. You would hit select, it would be enabled, you'd establish a gallon per minute and you typically would skip by the delay and you would get out of there and that would tell you that you had 35 gallons per minute I think we had established for your low flow and the uh, other higher speed for program two. Okay. That's kind of it for the external control program. Okay, easy enough.